PE class, my friend and I. We were doing what the teacher told us to do. Then a guy from a class looked at us and said, I never thought that Americans could speak Spanish that well. Um, and then my friend told him, we're not Americans, we're Mexicans. He was surprised because we don't look like what he thinks Mexicans are supposed to look like. Our hair is not dark. Mine is a little bit lighter than hers and our skin is also light. That's why he said why he said, why he was confused. Then my friend told him what part of Mexico we were from. A month later, this misunderstanding happens again. I was in my environmental science classroom during the tutorial. I sit on the nearest table by the door. Then a guy sat next to me. I didn't know the guy. For me, he was a complete stranger. A few minutes later, he was talking about my English, that it didn't sound that I have an American accent. I knew he would say that because people have said this to me before, so I wasn't that surprised. Then he asked me, where are you from? I responded, um, try to guess. Then he said, I think you're from the Middle East. He said this confidently and sure about his answer. Um, and I answered, nope, you're wrong. And I noticed his face, like probably he was thinking, dang, I failed. Then I said to him, do you want to try again? He said, no thanks, I wanted you to tell me where you're from. And I said, I'm from Mexico. I noticed his face. Because he never imagined a girl like me, based on how I look, will be Mexican and go to English. I usually don't get hurt when people try to guess where I'm from. I just take it easy, because I realize that I don't appear the way that people here expect Mexicans to look like. Hi, my name is Rosalba Citlali Orellana Campero, and I'm Mexican. I usually don't get hurt when people try to guess where I'm from, because I grew up in a strong family. My family taught me that whenever a person insults me, I must stand up for myself. Why? Because those type of people don't really care about me. They're obviously ignorant. Obviously I need to stand up for myself, but in a proper way. For example, the stereotype is of Mexicans are they are not short. I mean, they're short, not tall. They have brown skin, dark straight hair, and don't speak English. However, Mexicans are very different. There are a lot of different people in Mexico. The stereotype is just that, a stereotype and single stories. And single stories are not true. Um, now, single stories exist because we get used to what we see, what we hear, and what we read. And then we start to think that all isn't there, but it isn't. So today I'm going to talk about how to get to know the people that you're curious about without being confused by your false expectations on based on how they look. So here in the United States, there are lots of people whose ancestors came from different places around the world. So people don't know where the ancestors are from. However, it is very common here of making the mistake of seeing a nation and thinking, oh, they're probably Chinese, instead of thinking of all the possibilities like Korean, Filipino, Japanese, Taiwanese, Nepalese, I could go on and on. The same happens when someone says, oh, they're probably Mexican, because they see someone who is short, have brown skin, and dark straight hair. So when people see my light skin and light hair, they never think, oh, she's from Mexico. But I am. I am 100% Mexican. So here, you will easily recognize the three pictures, the famous movie Coco, the taco, and the mariachis. So what if I show you this picture? You will not recognize the pictures at all. So at the top right, you will see the Chapultepec castle. At the top left, you will see the trajineras, that fun fact. This trajinera has my grandma's nickname. And at the bottom, you will see these two gentlemen. He, he composed, the, he composed the, national, the Mexican national anthem and he wrote it. His name is Jaime Nuno and Francisco Gonzalez Bocanegra. So what's the moral of the story? Instead of trying making guesses, have an open mind. Get to ask questions. Now that you know that single stories are not true and are helpful, be careful not to use them when meeting someone new. Ask questions to get to know the real person. There's never a single story about a person or a place. Ask questions to go beyond. Gracias.